Oh, shit. What's up, Mike? You know, I really found it quite ludicrous how you've been making Wait a, a bunch of funny videos about Mike, me. Mike, I think Mike, he deserves Mike, this. <laughs> What's good, y'all? This your boy, Young Mike. Young Moolah, baby. And I'm back up. I'm back again with another video. You know what's going on. Today is November the 15th. It's a major, major day in the sports world, if you want to say that. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson tonight. Who y'all got? Anyway, I don't know if y'all seen the weigh-in last night, but that boy, Mike Tyson, put the paws on, kid. Mike Tyson had to iron him out. Here go the clip. Now, why Mike Tyson put his old dusty hands on that boy for no reason? No, no, no. There was a reason. Here go another clip where it looks like Jake Paul stepped on Mike Tyson's foot. Why Mike Tyson had them socks on? Looked like Jake Paul stepped on Mike Tyson's foot, and that's what set him off. Here go the clip. <laughs> All right, man. Like I said, it's a big night, man. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. Do you think this is a lose-lose for Jake Paul? Because I do. If you beat up Mike Tyson, if you win against Mike Tyson, everybody's going to say you beat up a 60-year-old man, whether it's Mike Tyson or not. 60, 60 years old, you beat him up. Good for you, Jake Paul. If you lose to Mike Tyson tonight, we're going to say, well, I'm going to say, you lost to a 60-year-old man, Mike Tyson or not. You need to hang it up, my boy. All right, well. Now, like I said, I'm going to say I got Mike Tyson on this one. I have never seen Mike Tyson actually fight in person. I may have seen. No, I ain't even going to lie. I may have seen like one of Mike Tyson's last fights, whatever that was. But I grew up on ESPN Classic. They don't got that for y'all no more. But I grew up on ESPN Classic. I used to watch the hour long clips of Mike Tyson doing people bad. Uh, let me show y'all. Let me. Now, see, me, I am not one of them people who has to learn from my own mistakes. I learn from other people's mistakes, like this gentleman right here. Jake Paul better get it together. I don't need to get hit in the face to know that I don't want to be hit in the face like this. <laughs> Why would you want to fight this man? Maybe he's not this same exact person anymore, but I bet you he could take 10 shots to the face and hit you with two of the most extremely deadly ones. I don't want to find out. Jake Paul, you stupid for this. <sighs> don't let Mike Tyson do y'all like that. Jake Paul. <sighs> I was talking to my coworker. Uh, he was like, he think it's going to be a game of Ring Around the Rosie. I was like, it better not be. I stole my mama's Netflix account for this. Shit, somebody got to pay for this. No, but it's going down in Arlington. Shout out to Ag, man. Shout out to that North Ag, man. You know what it is with me. You know what I'm saying? I used to shoot music videos and do all kinds of other stuff over there, too. So, But, no, the buildup to this fight has been crazy. I think they announced this fight last year in 2023, but I'm not sure. But either way, like, uh, they were supposed to fight a long time ago. I remember me and the guys made a podcast episode or a podcast clip about the fight a long time ago. We all agreed that Mike Tyson going to get that dub. So, we'll see what's up, man. We still going to watch. I know I am. Um. This could be one of the biggest fights ever. I mean, this could mean a lot to the sport of boxing. This could also mean a lot to streaming and sports in general. Like, is this the future? Is this the wave of live events, live fight, live games, live matches, live fights? Um, it could be. I mean, I was watching um, the Eagles versus the Commanders last night. Um, and, like, you know, it's a good game. Uh I like Richard Sherman's like talking, whatever you want to call that the little halftime show or whatever with Richard Sherman. But I also thought it was unique that they had like right after the game was over, you know, when nobody's really tuning in anymore, Gunna, perform Gunna performed. And I thought that was kind of cool, even though you know what it is with Gunna. But I thought it was cool that he got a little crossover because, you know, probably it's not probably a lot of people who watch football that listen to Gunna as well. So I thought that was a cool little crossover to have gonna come on after that that'll help him out in the future or his label whatever but yeah um like i said this could be a huge thing for netflix coming up i kind of feel like 
it's like a precursor to a new reality show. <laughs> the Housewives of Boxing. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know though. We'll see, man. This is this is big. This is big. But you know what it is, man. What we all here for, man. The big question of the day. Question of the day. Should I bring that back? But no, question of the day. Who do y'all have winning? Jake Paul or Mike Tyson? Let us know in the comments, man. And if you still here watching this video, subscribe to the channel, man. Drop us a like, man. You know, subscribe. Like I said, post notifications. Y'all follow all the social medias, man. Um, YouTube, Twitter, I mean, X, Twitter, uh, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, we on fan base as well, man. Y'all check us out, man. Subscribe. Consider subscribing to the channel, bro. It's growing. I've been posting videos all week. I'm going to keep doing it. Every time y'all like, comment, it gives me more motivation to drop more videos. Because this, this ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? I got to chop this up, all that type of shit. I had to shoot this three or four different times because TikTok tripping. But, hey, man, Mike Tyson, Jake Paul tonight, man. Let's see what's up. I might go live. Y'all might see me on live on TikTok tonight, so y'all tune in. Check me out. Always on live. This your boy, Young Mott. I'll